John Brennan about the growing threat and the growing number of ISIS fighters. Brennan says there, it said there are 18,000 ISIS members in Iraq and Syria alone, plus thousands more uh, in the Middle East and other African countries. Take a, a quick listen. The of ISIL fighters now far exceeds what Al Qaeda had at its height. We're talking about tens of thousands of individuals. Can that makes the terror network larger than Al Qaeda uh, when it attacked the United States on 9-11. Joining me now, Steve Rogers, Jessica Tarloff, and, and Kathy Taylor. Steve, you know, if you listen to Brennan's testimony, it, it, it was almost a word-for-word -word rebuttal of the things that President Obama told us earlier in this week, when, that we have ISIS on the run and everything's okay. It was an absolute rebuttal. Look, the president is good at spinning things his way. We saw it with Benghazi, with the video tap, the tape that allegedly caused this uh, attack there. So now you have the president putting a spin on it. Apparently someone in the White House didn't alert the CIA director, but the CIA director gave us the truth. And the truth is that ISIS is on the offense, not on the defense, as the president would lead us to believe. You know, it's interesting because the media media has sort of said the reason we're getting more more of these so-called lone wolf attacks and things like that is it's because ISIS is losing the battle and this has sort of been a desperation move but the way Brennan talked about it this seems like the, a step further it's a, not a sign of weakness but a sign of strength it's very hard to compare ISIS and al-Qaeda because they're very different organizations. And you're right, this could be a sign of, of strength, and that's what's so concerning about it. Let's remember that ISIS gets most of its funds from very illicit measures, not just donations, which is what al-Qaeda relied, al relied on. And let's also remember that ISIS gets its power in broad numbers of people, individuals. They're not bringing people in and training and recruiting there. They want reach. They want frequency. Well, they're getting the reach. And that's what they're getting. And so that is very, very concerning. They're, they're still able to get that despite what the administration is telling us they're doing to deter funding, to take these groups back, to gain territory back from ISIS. So it's a real, it's a real question. It's a real problem. Jessica, uh, there have been some Democrats who have been critical of President Obama, and like he's kind of pussyfooting around with this thing. He's not hitting back. He's not punching hard. And, uh, you know, he seems steadfast, though. He won't budge on this. And I, I think it's the biggest liability, one of the biggest liabilities that Hillary Clinton has uh, to say, hey, I'm going to continue President Obama's uh, fight or non-fight against ISIS. Well, actually, there was a great New York Times piece about that that came out this morning or uh, yesterday, I think, talking about the difference in their foreign policy approaches because, you know, Hillary was for a new fly zone in Syria and she would be much more willing to send troops, a lot of special forces. So you're saying troops. she's hawk more hawkish? Oh, she's definitely more hawkish than President Obama and in a lot of ways she's more hawkish than Donald Trump as well. So um, I, I think that that dynamic will come out further as we carry on. But I, I totally agree with you and the American people uh, the polls show that they're concerned about this, obviously. So then what about so, this, though, Jessica, the idea that she wants to bring in uh, an, a 500 percent increase over the amount of refugees? Uh, that, right. Uh, 65,000. 65,000. Not all at once, obviously. Uh, but the bottom line, though, I mean, a lot of people are saying, why are you bringing the enemy, potentially bringing the enemy here? Why is she so steadfast well, wedded to this? Well, there are a lot of people who are steadfast wedded to this and a lot of people, Republicans, who but, are, but who, I mean, we have a humanitarian and a States, diplomatic though. duty. To, I, I completely understand that. I mean, the vetting process, it's 18 to 24 months. I'm not saying that it's perfect. And she talked in her response to the Orlando shooting about wanting more resources to be dedicated to this vetting process. Um, but you would be hard pressed. You could talk to General Petraeus. You could talk to Madeleine Albright, Henry Kissinger. There are a lot of people on all sides of the spectrum who agree that it is our duty to be taking in refugees, but to do it smartly. It's, yeah, the key word there is smartly. Why don't we just help them build something over there, you know, and, and if we're going to help them, we don't have to bring them here. That's what Donald Trump has said. Create the safe zone. And we've got to bring the battle to them because they're certainly bringing the battle to us. did he say that he was for taking yeah, refugees? I mean, no right, teams, no resources. Let's see some action. Please. All right, guys, let's leave it there. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. It was a great show. And, of course, at home, we appreciate you watching every night 6 p.m. And if you can't see the